Hello. Hang on a second. Just want to show you the view of the desert real quick. It's so perfect. This video. Hi. You know I do my best work in the morning when I'm waking up, but I'm still half asleep. I'm waking up. <sighs> this video is going to be about the next lunar eclipse, which is tomorrow morning. Hmm. It's going to be powerful. It's going to last longer than most um, early in the morning. It's going to bring up a lot of past issues, emotions. If you're in the dark night or still working towards the dark night, you're getting in it. You're going to go through it. It's going to be rough. I've been, I've been dark night for my whole life <laughs> without even knowing it. And it's uh, that last tower moment that really kind of brought on the my awakening, my third eye, my spirituality really grew. I mean, I've always been spiritual. I've always been known that there was more and I had purpose, but with all the blockages you have in life, all the people, negativity and all the things that go wrong, and things that affect you without you understanding, without understanding your energy and, and the negative and positive aspects of your life, you're just going to, you're going to be in a washing machine like one of my readers talked about this morning. He's like, it's going to be like, feel like a washing machine. You're going to go through the cycle. And Lord, Lord help us when the spin cycle hits, right? Most of us that have already been through it, the guides, hopefully it's not going to touch us as much. We're going to be, you know, the idea is to be guides to others that are going through it and dealing with it at the moment. My nose is itching. Which is apparently a good thing. <sighs> um, let's talk about power and energy and good luck to Britney Spears that's not you know really my sphere but a lot of people are talking about homegirl getting liberated but there's also some red flags on her boyfriend that I'm hearing about so she needs to be careful of the outside energies like we all do that's a, just maybe this is just a metaphor right now using Britney Spear but yeah um, she's vulnerable as hell you can only imagine she's she is not she's going through the dark night she's not she's not fully in her power and able to protect her energy and and if she's getting money you know you know what happens when you get money right every toxic in the universe is going to come flock to you so she's got to be careful of that god bless and good luck kid <clears throat> but let's talk about you not everybody's britney and not everybody has that kind of cash to help. You know, hopefully she can heal and you know, I think it's important to be alone. I mean, it's, some people are very codependent. Some people are very, they can't, like for me, being alone is a blessing. I enjoy my peace and quiet. Only because I've been surrounded by toxic people my whole life to where I've never had peace. And the moments I've had peace were always by myself. Even as a kid, I, you know, like I talked about wandering the streets of Sacramento as a nine-year-old, you know, I, I had no problem with being by myself in the dark running around. It's just, I was alone and happy about it. So it was okay. Not everybody can be that comfortable in their in their solitude, and sometimes that's important. You have to you have to ground yourself. You have to be grounded. You're going to be emotional. It's going to be rough. And I love you, and I don't want you to go through it, but it's going to happen. You just got if you know it. If you know what this is, you understand the energies. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. Just being it's being ignorant to your own powers and the powers of others affecting you. In a negative way, yeah, you're just gonna get your ass kicked. That's it. You're gonna get your ass kicked. You're not gonna know why. You're just gonna be in this fetal position, crying and praying and hoping it goes away. Kind of like a bad trip on acid or something. You're like, when is it gonna? When am I gonna come down? Right? That's a horrible example. But yeah, you know, it feels like madness. I'm sure. <clears throat> and this eclipse is gonna bring it on. If it hasn't already started yesterday, I, I felt super surge yesterday morning of emotion and I cried like a bitch and I didn't even understand why it wasn't it wasn't me I just I felt something and it came through and I was just it was devastating I was like what the hell is this right and I had to shake it off and move on but uh, somebody's going through it it's still itching but anyway <clears throat> yesterday was actually a positive day for me considering I started out with 20 cents in my wallet or in my bank account which is still 20 cents but I went to go sell my art, didn't sell a piece. <laughs> I brought a sign with me this time. 
just it was an homage to my buddy James who I really admired in his ability to just grab a backpack and and travel and sleep on the side of the road he was just hoboing it and I was like that was to me that was just the bravest thing ever you know not knowing where you're going if you can have food if you're gonna eat and he used to tell me about the signs he used to hold up to make money he wouldn't ask for money he would just hold up signs that were really funny and people would laugh and give him money just because the signs were so fun so I decided to do that yesterday so I had one of my paintings and I wrote on the back of it um, too ugly for prostitution and too honest for politics and people Everybody was smiling and laughing. I got, I got, excuse me, I got $23 in donations. <laughs> First guy gave me a dollar. He's like, do you take donations? I'm like, sure. He's like, here's a dollar. It's not, not, you know, it's better than nothing. I was like, hell yeah. Amen, brother. And I thanked him. And then a lady, a little while later, lady came by and gave me $2. I was like, just handed it to me. I didn't ask. I'm just sitting there, smiling, sell my art. And then like an hour later, some guy came by and with his other buddy and they were looking at my art and said hi and stuff. And I went inside the store, came out and he gave me two tens. He's like, look, I don't want to buy any art. My wife already has enough, but here's some money. I was like, thank you. It was awesome. So I had enough money to buy dinner and I still have a little bit left. So that's a blessing. I mean, it's interesting. I wasn't, like I said, I don't beg. I don't ask. I'm simply trying to sell my art. Of course, I look like like refried beans, right? I need to shave really bad, but it's just funny how people are. It's, it's you know, people are a blessing, and people can, you know, I tell you, you smile and you, and you you engage and you you glow up, and maybe you change hearts. You get people to, I don't know, like that guy the other last week. The guy came, pulled in and he was pissed because some trucker was trying to drive him off the road. And he had to pull up into the Chevron because he was so up, you know, was upset. So he need to cool off. And and instantly after talking to me, he felt better. And he told me, he goes, dude, the energy around you is like awesome. He's like, I feel better just talking to you. I'm like, cool. It was awesome. And he gave me a he gave me a chicken sandwich that he was bought for himself. He's like, you want this? I'm like, sure. And I was hungry. I hadn't eaten yet today, or that day. So the you know, excuse me. My circumstance is mine and unique. And I'm, I accept my life. I chose to be an artist, and I knew it was going to be rough. They don't call you a starving artist for nothing. Not everybody's Hunter Biden, right? Five hundred thousand for a print of a painting. Yeah, only a year of doing that or whatever. I've been doing this for ten years. No judging. Not gonna. But damn, corruption, right? Some people, right? But like I said, I'm I'm proud to be me. I'd rather be poor and have a soul. That's all I got to say about that. But I live in love and I live in light. And the eclipse is going to be interesting. I'm, I wonder how it's going to affect politically. I mean, the whole world is going through it. It's not just me and you and people that understand energy. There's an archbishop, bishop, excuse me, in the in the church, in the Catholic Church, that's actually publicly stating right now that the world needs to gather in a global um, spiritual community to fight that the tyranny of all this stuff that's going on with the globalists. I think that's fascinating. I talked about it before. I said if you're a tarot reader or a Bible thumper, we all work for the same boss. We all have the same boss. We all work for the universe. We're all working for the light. And if you're if you're just unless you're a pretender, unless you're somebody who's in it for the coin and you're you're just full of shit and then you're going to go through the washing machine and good for you. You deserve it. Not everybody works for God. Not everyone works works for the universe. You gotta be careful of that too. You gotta be careful who you trust, your readers. Not every reader is working for the light. There's a lot of dark magic going on right now. There has been for the last month or two, really hard. <clears throat> people use that portal. Like I said, not everybody's working for the light. Some people work for the dark side. We gotta watch that. But I want you to focus on your energies, focus on your intentions, your thoughts. I want you to think positive. I want you to be happy. When you have nothing to be happy for, be grateful for I like for example I was grateful to have anything I didn't ask for anything but people some lady gave me some chocolate muffins yesterday <laughs> she's like you want a muffin I'm like sure okay I'll eat it it's food right I'm turning that down she came back and gave me three more she was like here you go I don't need them more cool so people want to be generous let them accept charity not because you're a pulper because somebody else needs to learn that lesson of 
giving, of charity. I tell people, be the vessel of charity. If, you, if you're, and I tell other people, if you, when you see people on the side road and they have signs or they're poor and you know they can, they're struggling, give. Use that as an, a chance for yourself to learn charity because they are lessons for you. Those people were put there in their position for you to grow as a human being in your love for, for humanity. So give, share, love people, and watch them glow, man. I, I tell that story about that lady was, that was outside of McDonald's just bawling. She was homeless, she had a little cart, and she was trying to eat the sandwich, she was freaking bawling. And I was in my car and I was just getting ready to go in and I was just watching, I was like, and I, I was all I could do not to cry seeing this because that's my kryptonite is watching a woman cry big time, especially children. But and I walked by her and she was just in her own misery. And I went in and I ordered my food and I came back out and I gave her $40. And, I, and I, it was hard for me to even talk to her because as an empath, I feel the emotion and, and I was trying not to break down. So I, I gave her the 40 bucks and I said, don't give up. And I walked away. I just couldn't stay there. I couldn't. I was, was going to start crying. So I went back inside, got my food, and I left. And when I came back out, she was gone. And all I could do is pray for that lady. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to focus on the positive. I want you to focus on what can I do for somebody else. <laughs> see, see how emotional I get? <laughs> Even if you don't have anything but a hug or a kind word, give it. Because people need it now more than ever. <clears throat> we are going into the light. We are going into a new age. We are going into the age of Aquarius. And we need to focus and be positive. And all these things that are coming through, the portals, the, the level of portal, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and this new eclipse, these are all things that are going to be affecting us in the future and it propelling us to, to glory and beauty and light and love. And, and that's what we need in this world. And I'm babbling. I'm going to let you go. But I want you to focus on love and light. I want you to know that you're worthy and miracles can happen. And you have to believe it. You have to believe in yourself. Love yourself. And avoid toxic people if you can. If you can be by yourself and just be in peace. You don't have to meditate as much as just enjoy the scenery, listen to some music, do what you got to do. Try to feed yourself, drink lots of water. <sighs> yeah. And wish me luck. Because <laughs> I need it. Boy, look at all these paintings. Yeah. I need to start selling them. Anyway, wish me luck, and I'll wish you luck, and I love you, and God loves you, and the universe is really digging you. So have a wonderful day, and good luck with the eclipse. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.